is life after soap operas. People moving on to silver screen there. Lots of folks there. Do you have hopes of moving to movies? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jeff and Brad are both doing... I you're just, doing Broadway, a, you're doing TV. I just did a movie, too. You did? Yes. I'd say an erotic thriller. You? Yeah. With, with that... Paula Barbieri. <laughs> really? Yeah, she was Never my did. leading lady. Well, we'll have to look out for her. What's the name of it? Uh, it's called Night Eyes 4. The okay. Changing of the Guard. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Be there or be square. I'll, I'll be there. I, I just uh, wrapped, wrapped a movie, a film, out in L.A. called Leprechaun Lost in Space. Hey, <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> and it, it's a comedy slash action. It's, it's very funny. You so. guys are it, just full of talent. Well, listen, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time we gave our bold and beautiful her surprise, our, our big fan back her here. Eyesight. Now, she has been back in the green room. Hold this for me. And we um, put some earphones on her. She's over there. She cannot hear. She's blindfolded. Let's bring her out. Okay, let's take her earphones. Hi, it's Rolanda here. How are you? Fine. Good. I'm doing fine. Come on out here. We're playing a little game. Don't take your little thing off. Now, we understand that you're a big soap opera fan. For sure. You are? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Can you answer a trivia question, you think, if I, I ask you? I can try. Okay. You can try. Where are you from? Texas. Texas? <laughs> well, welcome to the big city. Don't let anybody else blindfold you here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> What's your name? Michelle. Michelle. Uh -huh. Okay, Michelle, I'm going to ask you a real tough question here. Uh, okay. How old is the soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful, today? How old is it today? Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. Um, I want to say probably about... <laughs> probably about probably about 12 years old. About 12? Yeah. Well, yeah. a little offshoot. It's what only it? nine, but you know oh, something? Good. We're having a birthday party and you're invited. Okay. It's, it's Bold and Beautiful's ninth birthday. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Come on up there and meet folks. Now, this lady's from Soap Opera Digest. We're going to get to her in a minute, but there's Hi. Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Nice to meet you. That's Michelle, everybody. Hi. Give it up for Michelle. here for okay? Yeah, I know. We, we, we got yeah, you here no. thinking you were going to do... I'm fine. She I'm thought here. she was going to do soap opera, okay. soap opera trivia. Yeah. So, you, why don't you tell them what the bold and the beautiful means to you? Because you're a big soap opera fan and you never dreamed you'd meet the cast no, here. No, I didn't. This is kind of crazy. No, I like, I've grown up, actually, I started watching y'all when I was in high school. And it's just, it's I think it's, it's time to, for her to leave, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's been, it's been fun to watch y'all's characters change through the years and stuff. I enjoy the little storylines and everything. It's neat. Well, well come on, tell me. I know you're in love with one of these men. Is one of these characters just rocking your world well, back there in Texas? Oh, honey, look at him. I know. <laughs> well, we're gonna get you autographs and some bold and beautiful fun stuff, and we just I like that you were it. you were fun enough to come out here and play yeah, with us in New York City. Yeah, Let's hear from Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. Yeah. I have to. Can I tell you what? When she was. When she, when she was backstage, she really was blindfolded with like ear things. I was going up to her going like this. <laughs> and you had no idea. But we had fun with her back there. The question we're still asking though is will Sly succeed in getting Jessica's family's money? Will Macy be able to find a way to save Spectra from bankruptcy? Are Jasmine's days in fashion and in that turquoise bikini thing over? <laughs> well, if you want to find out things like that, Stephanie Sloan here is the lady to talk to. She's from Soap Opera Digest, and you keep up with all the good scoops. <laughs> Michelle, come on out here and sit with me, okay. honey. Let's go sit out of here. Te here's a chair just for you. The queen of surprises. <laughs> so go on and tell us. So Barbara Digest keeps up with all the plots and everything. Yes, we all have TVs on our desk. You do? Yes. So your job is to just watch TV all day? <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. So can you give us a scoop on what's going to happen on The Bold and Beautiful? Well, um, in terms of Macy saving Spectra from Ruin, um, in the behind the scenes, we saw Dan McVicker in one of the dressing rooms. He plays Clark. So I think that he will probably be a key role in getting Spectre back on its feet. Really? Yes. Mm. And I think that's a surprise for viewers who didn't know that he was coming back. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen with the love interest that we've been talking about today here on the set? Well, I think Jessica has some surprises in store for Sly that oh, all right, Jessica. she knows about. And so I think 
in terms of him getting the Forrester money, I don't know. I think it's hard to get the Forrester money. Can't <laughs> weasel it out of him, huh? I'm I don't a Forrester so. and I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back in a minute, folks. I'll come to your question.